This game is rated M for Mature. It contains suicide imagery with the use of a gun. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3. I'm Sean. I'm Tanil. And uh, this is Hana and here's Fuka and everyone else went home because they're babies and they're tired. I mean, we're tired too. Uh, but true. you know what? We're still here. We're still here. We're still pushing through it. Because oh. Hana doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Uh, we're level 19, so we did gain another level from extra training. And you know what I did? I found it. Mm -hmm. I found the Juzumaru. Yes, finally. I found that stupid sword After from that first all part. This time. Well, and it was quite frightening too, because you found it on a floor. With no enemies. Yeah. And just a bunch of chests. And... I don't know how this works, but Fuka's like, this seems bad. And I'm pretty sure that's a specific kind of floor where the Reaper, which is the creature that comes and gets you and kills you if you spend too long on a specific floor, comes quickly because there's no other enemies. He's just like, hi, dead. Yikes. So... So you ran in there, grabbed as much as you could, happened to get uh, Jezumaru. And left. Yeeted out of there. Yep. All right. So our current personas are Nigimitama, Principality, Bareth, Oberon, Fortuna, Fornius, Archangel, and Valkyrie. And you know, a lot of these are new. So I was thinking I'd come in here and we'd show off or like actually look at some of the information on some of these guys. Yeah. Because we haven't done that in a while, and I think it's neat. Uh, can I just scroll through? No. Oh, I can. Yeah. All right, so we've seen slime. I don't know if we actually a talked about it. A primitive monster with a vic... Vi viscous. Viscous body. There are various theories as to its origin, but it's still under debate. Said to be compulsively... Said to compulsively collect shiny objects. Orpheus, who we've seen. Pyro Jack. Also known as Jack-o'-lantern, he was an Irish farmer who persuaded Satan not to take him to hell. When he was refused entry into heaven, he wandered Earth as a pumpkin-headed soul. Oh, I didn't know that. Me neither. Uh, Jack Frost we've seen, Nekamata, Unicorn. A legendary white horse with a single spiral horn. It can only be tamed by a pure maiden. Its horn supposedly has miraculous healing capabilities. Apsaris, Oberon, fairy king and husband to Titania. He was cursed as a child and has not grown any larger since. Fornius. Oh, look at that guy. Yup. Oh, I don't like it. One of Gotia's 72 demons, he appears as a great sea monster. He is linguistically skilled and a master of rhetoric. Bareth, one of the 72 te demons of Gotia. He rides a gigantic horse and burns those without manners. He is the Duke of Hell. Uh, yeah, we already seen that. Alp? Uh, yeah, we've talked about this one. Okay, Pixie. Chimera! The offspring of Typhon and... Echidna. E Echidna. This monster of Greek myth is part lion, part goat, and part dragon. Or snake. Or snake. Aramitama. Principality. The seventh of the nine orders of angels. They guard cities and nations and protect various religions. Archangel. The eighth of the nine orders of angels. Their duty is to minister the humans and deliver messages. They are as constant they are at constant war with the fallen angels. And then of course, Angel. Uh and we've seen that one. Fortuna. Roman goddess of luck. Her Greek counterpart is Taiche. Taiche? Sure. Originally a goddess of fertility, she later became known as the spinner of the Wheel of Fortune. Valkyrie. We've talked about her. I, or maybe not. Choosers of the slain in Norse mythology, armed with shining armor and spears, they look for brave warriors to take the, to Valhalla so they may fight in Ragnarok. Ingami. Oh, I love it so much. Look at it. Spirits of dogs said to possess humans in Japanese lore. Those possessed go crazy. Oh my. On Onmyoji. Onmyoji, or Japanese sorcerers, summon them to do their will. Oh, so they're kind of like familiars. Yeah, something like that. 
Nigi Mitama, one of the four aspects of the human soul as described in Shinto teachings. It is associated with gentleness. And that's it. Yeah, nice. Now, uh, Jack Frost and Unicorn actually, or Pyrojack and Unicorn actually had stuff for us. If we yeah. lose them away. Oh, we have too many personas. Well, uh, I think I will make some room quick. Okay. Let's make Ares, god of war. It's a god of war. No, not that god of war. A different god of war. I am Ares. Our hearts are united. Let our journey together begin. So as you might imagine, Ares is a very fight fighterson persona. And he's gonna level up multiple times here. Ooh, counter. Holy arrow. Oh uh, yeah, let's see what happens to it. Rage, Rage boost. boost. Mm. Not great. Rebellion raises all critical power, or like everyone has a higher critical hit chance. Oh, that's cool. Including the enemy. Oh, that's the, less cool. Yeah. Only grabbed a Pyrojack uh, just so we have one of them. Yeah. Uh, and the other one we'll grab sometime later. Mm hmm. And reminder these are going to be turned into weapons, and I have no idea what kind of weapon it's going to get. Pyrojack is probably going to give us some sort of fire imbued weapon. Which, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know what that does for us, but it's neat. You hope you hear a conversation. Oh? Oh, wait, no, no, I think you're... Oh, my teacher told me about Mitsuru Kariju, the student council president. She's going overseas after she graduates, probably so she can run the Kariju company later. Whoa, that's crazy. She's still so different from us. The funny thing is, I hear she lives in the dorms. I wonder why. Maybe her parents were strict when she was growing up. We're learning more about Mitsuru. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I guess if her family's really rich, she could have absolutely lived at home, I would guess. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Oh. Mind if I interrupt? I was just told by the chairman that he'll be stopping by this evening. When you get back, come to the fourth floor meeting room. Oh, um, okay. I'll see you all later. Okay. That should be fine. Yeah. <gasps> Koro-chan, give me your paw. Doggo? Oh, good dog. Yukari and Fuka are playing with a dog. Oh, can we keep it? Oh, hi. Hey, you're back. Can I pet him? Sure. That is an adorable dog. Yeah. Oh. The dog seems very intelligent. His name's Korumaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh. This dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganata Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. That explains it. Well, until the priest passed away. Oh, no! He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? It was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog sits patiently by the side. We just gotta have a Hachiko story, don't we? Yeah, I was like, this is just Hachiko. Yeah. He goes for a walk every day, just like when his owner was still alive. Hmm. Oh shoot, I have to get going. My son will be back soon. Bye, lady. You should put a leash on your dog. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, 
Nothing. Sorry. Wait, isn't the chairman coming today? Then we should go get ready. Well, that was interesting. That I seems like spend, a cute doggo. I want to spend every day oh, out here everyone. waiting for the doggo. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Hi, Kutsuki. I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. This concerns those shadows that have been appearing during full moons. I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. It's like their class or order. Now, I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far and it's simply fascinating. And? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. Well, that's really convenient of them coming in order. Yeah. Glad we're not getting any, you know, like rank 14s. Well, he said it only goes up through 12. Oh, okay. Rank 14s. <laughs> There's 12 in all. Eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Fuka. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. It can be considered predation, but is it really? Is there an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole? That's what we need to consider. This is interesting, but no matter what, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According well, with that attitude, eight, you can just get left behind, Yukari. <laughs> Jeez. So we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. Yeah. What about Tartarus? Why does it even exist? We're slowly figuring that out. Hmm. Oh. Mitsuru know something? Hmm. Does Sandra. Yukari know Mitsuru know something? Maybe. The pieces are falling into place one by one. But the shadows that appear when the moon is full. You wonder what their purpose is. Eight of them remain. You still have a long road ahead of you. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we lost our daytime slot. Yeah, it happens. Hey, are you going to make up for this? Yeah, I need a glasses wipe. Now I see clear. Oh, he's making a stupid joke again. Nice of you to look after them. Well then, by all means, take this. It looks stingy, but it works very well, in fact. Your friend's glasses will shine like the sun. She doesn't have glasses. I don't know why Elizabeth wants this, but uh, we're gonna give it to she her. She likes anyways. random junk, man. Yeah, she's a weirdo. Go to the bathroom. Yes, absolutely. Because we are tired. Tired. We Come must on, bathroom. Roll that bathroom roll content. That. Bathroom, bathroom content. Roll that bathroom dice. How we doing? And yeah. Didn't work. Okay. Well, we keep going. And because it is a Saturday, this means it's just a coffee day. Yep. But first, let me check this thing. <gasps> Jack Frost! <gasps> oh, 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 all right, okay. All right. We also want to go to the pharmacy. Don't yes. forget that. Uh, I need three of these. Nothing but air. All right, this might take a while. You won! won. Oh my god, we got that's... one Jack Frost doll. One of three. We need two more. All right. Yes. 
Yay! That's two. All right. You won! Uh, finally, we got three of them. Ooh, that took a little while. Yes, it did. All right, uh, other things to do. Hey, lady! We are just gonna... I want to trade for this goggle-eyed idol. It's weird and gross, but we're taking it because Elizabeth wants it. Also, uh, we got these a nihil sword and a nihil bow. And uh, I want to see what we can make out of it. Uh, that's powerful. But I don't feel like that's the thing we're supposed to be making with it. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, you know, I, we might have to look up to see what Pyrojack is specifically supposed to go with. Uh -huh. Same with Unicorn, because I think they're... You need to fuse with a specific Nihil weapon. Oh, interesting. So like, I I don't know. Maybe the unicorn goes with the sword, and then we have like a unicorn horn based sword. Oh. And I don't know, Pyrojack gives us flaming gloves or I don't something. Know. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's how it works. Okay. I I'll we'll look it up before we do in the next episode, and then Pharmacy. make sure that we do that correctly. Yeah. But for now. Uh, hey, buddy. We want to come here because, uh, Yukari chugged all our revival beads. I don't know if you chug a bead. Whatever. I don't know what they do with it, but... Shove it up your butt. But we could get 99 of them. Well, we could. That seems a little excessive. Yeah. Uh, I think I will go ahead and pick up, like, ten. Yeah. I mean, that's only 9,000 yen. I think he's having a sale right now. Lovely. So, that seems good, because I Is think... Is there anything else here we want to pick up? What's the super cat food? Hoi toy, toy, toy cat, cat food, food for, for fine felines. felines. Uh, I think it's a quest item, but I... Why don't we pick it up? It's, like, five bucks. Okay. We'll pick it up. I have no idea what it's actually for. Do we also want any kind of, like, medicine? Like, regular healing medicine? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, and now we're going to sell... <laughs> we're gonna sell this Juzumaru. Oh, it took so long to get it. Yeah, but it's, it's a crap weapon mm -hmm. at this point in the game. Oh, we got a Sigma Drive? Uh, from one of the quests, mm -hmm. whoever you equip it to has a chance of sustaining, or it lowers the chance of getting critical critical hits oh, against them. That's nice. Seems pretty good to me. Yeah. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Uh, I did the thing. This must be something one uses to wipe one's glasses. I see, this is no ordinary dirty rag. Fine microfibers, maximum flexibility and absorbency, and an ideal size. It's perfect for wiping glasses. Yet, if I'm not mistaken, this stain here is soy sauce. <laughs> which means that although it was made to wipe glasses, it can polish off other things too. Thank you very much. Please take this back with you. I mean, he might have gotten soy sauce on his glasses. You it's, never know. It's very possible. I never have the occasion to wear glasses or wipe off any soy sauce, so please accept your reward. Whoa! Dang, Elizabeth! <laughs> More money! I think you might have just paid for uh, the, the Jack Frost dolls we got you. <laughs> uh, easily. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of which, let's do that one. And... You wanted this thing, too, so... We're just giving you all the stuff. Ah, the goggle-eyed doll I requested. It Idol. Idol. It looks quite old, but I'm certain someone put a great deal of time and energy into making it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a persona this item resembles. Please accept your reward. Blade Fist. That's a new weapon for... 
Punchums? Punchums. Aki oh, Nico, yeah. Oh, beautiful. You seem to have completed another request. Please give me a moment to check. This must be, yes, it's the Jack Frost doll. I have a great fondness for Jack Frost. May I touch it? Oh my, this soft texture. I had been thinking about making a request related to Jack Frost. My first idea was to have you show me a level 99 Jack Frost. <laughs> but I'm glad I decided on this request instead. This doll is too adorable. Yeah, and the other one wouldn't have happened. Never. Please accept your reward. Mumugi water times four. And I don't know. Oh, bring me a strong medicine. I've heard there's a powerful, possibly dangerous medicine in the nurse's office. I would like to have a sample of it. <laughs> oh, we could tell you all about it, Elizabeth. I mean, uh, I'm going to check real fast to see if we can actually do that yet. Okay. All right. So uh, we looked up how to do it. We can't really do it right now, but we could. We could, but I, it's fine. We'll do it later. Yeah. It's pretty easy to do from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, I think that's going to be it. Thank you, Elizabeth, for all of your help. You are a weird one. We have completed a great number of her requests already. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's time for us to go consume some coffee. Ugh. Indeed. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Thank you. I think we say that every time we come in here and get coffee. We're just like, gross. Coffee is gross. Oh, we're popular already. <gasps> oh, popular. It's going so fast. I want to be popular. It's but not not about aptitude. It's the way you move. It's very shrewd to be very, very popular like me. I think we should sleep early. Yeah. Kana needs rest. Yeah. He's a growing baby boy. Yeah. It's not going well. <laughs> and he just gets sick all the time. Mm -hmm. You're no longer tired because you rested. Good. There's no school today. You are meeting someone today. Oh. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Right. Hi, Chihiro. <clears throat> you. Nobody thought that collection of illustrations was but... Chihiro looks scared. I'm worried about losing money. Her expression darkens. I hope I'm just so happy to see. It's a sad thing that we might be the same at any school. Uh, you know, I really don't think there's any sort of thief. Well, other than maybe the teacher mm -hmm. that you gave it to. Yeah. Like, if it's lost, knowing Persona games, a teacher probably pocketed the money. Yeah. Probably. No, no, you're right. There could be. I'm making accusations like that. I just feel your example more on the phone. We became closer. Do we give her a gift? No, we don't need to. I'm not giving you crap. It's good. Your relationship could be stronger soon. And that's Ooh. all we needed. We finally, like, we need to go on this date so that we have enough points to continue the social link with Chihiro. Yeah. That was it. Although, honestly, like, a pretty interesting like, it's not just, you know, oh, we're hanging out in the library. Yeah, no, it's actually, it, because... It, it kind of furthered this, her plot. Mm -hmm. The Sunday events usually are related to whatever thing is going on. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. It's amazing how much... Content there is in this game? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like... A little ridiculous. Well, you know, I feel like... You know, there's a lot of people who like JRPGs, but... I feel like Persona is kind of a hard... It's like, a different kind of game. Yeah, and I think the the amount of content in them can be a little overwhelming, you know? Yeah, I believe that. 
And it's both like a strength of Persona and a weakness. Because it makes it like a difficult series to get into, but it's so rewarding if you do. Yep, I get that. Uh, it's just the bank again. All right, uh, well, it's Sunday, which means it's just more coffee, I'm pretty sure. Yep, more, more coffee. More coffee. Oh, hold on. You wanna look at our stats? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Mm. oh. Average popular badass standing right here. An mm. average popular badass. <laughs> you, you know. know. <laughs> Any anime protagonist. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Good stuff. Put average popular badass on my tombstone, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, getting late. Back to the dorm so we can study. Let's study, study, study. You must study, study, study. Our those academics books. have increased. Finally, <gasps> above average. We're now an above average popular, popular badass. badass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh God. There, there we go. That's, that's a awesome. good high five. Oh man. We're good sleepy. thing they're not ranking us on our athletics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be pretty bad there. Yeah. Ah. So happy. On to Monday. Oh, hi Yukari. What's up? You wanna Are you about to complain again? Bitch about Mitsuru again? <laughs> hey, Hanukkah, I was thinking. The night before last, the Twelve Shadows, Tartarus... Isn't there just too much we don't understand? Uh... I mean... Yeah? Yeah, I mean, the whole point is that we, like, really don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get to me. I mean, yeah, I get that. That's totally fair, Yukari. Because like, there's a lot nice I don't understand more. either. Lunchtime! Who wants to hang out? Fuka! Uh, Hanukkah, are you free after school today? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I see. Well, if you don't have anything to do, could you please come talk to me? I'll be at the usual place. Right outside the bathroom. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. She's moved to a different spot after our exclamation last time. She's like, hmm. Best to avoid this scenario in the future. <laughs> uh. Doesn't the octopus in this picture look creepy? Many European countries don't serve octopus because they're feared as devil fish. Huh. That's you interesting. Know, I never really thought about that, but yeah, we have octopus. Like, there's octopus in, like, the Mediterranean Sea and stuff, mm -hmm. and... Like in art, but but it's not in like any of the cuisine. It's not a common cuisine item, at least. It's pretty much just like an Asian cuisine thing. Yeah, never really thought about it. That's neat. Yeah, my darling, for example, won't touch octopus. Last time I made pasta for him. Miss, blah blah blah. Miss Tarauchi blah, continues to blah, talk blah, about blah, octopi blah, as food. Blah blah blah. But octopi aren't the only undersea creatures that are called devilfish. Really. Now, here's a question for... Stupid! <laughs> of manta rays, squid, and jellyfish, which of these is not known as a devilfish? I don't even know... I didn't even know octopi were devilfish. How am I supposed to know this? Hey, Hana, what do I say? So, manta rays, squid, or jellyfish? Hmm. If I had to guess... Oh. Jellyfish? But I'm honestly not sure. Jellyfish is actually the correct answer. Yeah! Oh. Honestly, I I would say manta ray because it's a ray and all these other things are multi-legged 
terror beings. Right, but like I could see someone calling a manta ray a devil fish. Because it's huge and gross and scary. Well, I mean, it's, it's not, like, not gross, but. It's, it's like different. And yeah. like jellyfish are too, but like they don't have a threatening appearance. No, but definitely don't touch jellyfish. No. Good going, Junpei. Jellyfish aren't devilfish because they're a dessert. Jelly? Get it? It was just a joke. Ha ha ha, just planning, plain common sense, Mrs. T. Thanks, Hana, I almost look like an idiot. Mm. You hear classmates whispering. Hana helped him out, he's really dependable. You could almost say that he's above average intelligence. Mm -hmm. And that has made us slightly more popular. Our charm has increased. Oh yeah. We are almost max charm. Yeah. And then we can just work on intelligence. Yes. We can just study forever. Well, until we get tired. Yeah, and, and then sick. we cry. <laughs> Speaking of which, I mean, we've found out that you can go straight from great to sick, or, or at least tired, and that sucks. Mm -hmm. But hey, I still want to try to stay in top condition. <gasps> We're great! Yeah! It's gonna be great! It's gonna be great! It's gonna be great! Ta -da. So, where are you going? I'm gonna go on a date! Are, are you? With with Elizabeth. Oh, I'm like, Chihiro? We're not, we're not, spoilers, we're not talking to Chihiro today. No, uh, no, we're going back because Elizabeth has another request of going somewhere. That and she does. I think this is about the first chance we've had to really do that since she's requested this. Can you not do it at night? No. Okay. It has I, to I be wasn't during sure the day. And, and it specifically says visit this place during the day. Okay. Uh, let's go on a date with Elizabeth. Ah, I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? So we're going to Iwatodai Station today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. <laughs> oh, I like how she's moving faster than me. Animation <laughs> yeah. for the... Throwing stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. It looks simple, but one false step and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. I mean, yeah. Refrain from going up the down escalator and vice versa. Thank you. <laughs> and what's this? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. The stairs? Uh, where is it? Oh, the manhole. It's in the center of this fenced off area. It's marked with eye catching signs which state in bold print do not enter. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. This is a crafty snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. A stairway that tests one's wits and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Elizabeth, I'm not going down into a manhole with you. Human authorities that is the line. <laughs> to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their plight. I'm not. Let's continue forth. Our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. Ah, here we go, the strip mall. This, this fragrant aroma, it can't be. Ah. Whoa, you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. <laughs> well, there ain't a law against takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. 
such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. Elizabeth buys some and gives it to the anatomical model we gave her earlier. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth produced a bulging wallet. Uh... It, it, she just has money to throw around, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. It's not that expensive. I appreciate the concern, but my curiosity exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, well then, two packages, please. Thanks. Here you go, and come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy outer skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. <laughs> yes. Ow! Oh, uh, I also must say, had octopus and squid in the past, not a fan. I've not had it. I've just heard it's incredibly rubbery, and that does not sound good to me because I am a texture person, and rubbery is not something I want in my food. You would hate it because not only is it rubbery, but if you happen to get, like, one of the suction cups, it can mm -hmm. just, like, stick to your teeth. Mmm. Oh god. Yeah, it's it's Oh unpleasant. god, no. I know people who really like it, but I it's not for me. I have trouble eating like regular meat on the bone because it's a texture thing and it wigs me out to like try to eat chicken legs and I stuff. I know. So eating rubber fish monsters is not something I want to do. The term is devil fish. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we just learned this. Yes. Are your Are cheeks you okay? To still be in place. And in any event, there are many other delicacies I feel I must try. I must take care not to lose my cheeks before sampling each and every one of them. All right. <laughs> we finished eating the takoyaki. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain a foodstuff known as a smoothie bar. This mm. smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Yeah, no, it sounds good. about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. You decide to show Elizabeth around the eateries. Ugh, oh, too much food. We so much food. We exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. Oh, oh God, Elizabeth. How much food did you buy and eat? Probably a lot. I mean, probably all of it. Yeah. Because, like, I know there's a sweet shop here and the Wild Duck Burger and, like, I think another restaurant. There's a lot of stuff right here. Oh, God. Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. Oh, God. <laughs> In any event, I have to thank you for the tea. Elizabeth's going to make us sick. If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. Okay, you head back to the velvet room with Elizabeth. Oh, I need to go find a bathroom. Oh, I need it bad. Uh, so what'd you give me for this? Thank you for showing me around Iwatodai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. The people's lives there were quite different from those at Polonia Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw, I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we tasted. First, I must hunt for ingredients. Haha, <laughs> this will take so this will be so much fun. <laughs> As for your reward, I have again prepared something special. With this you can fuse empuza. It look it looks reminds one of a beautiful beast, yet she too rises from the sea of your soul. I wish I could gather a greater appreciation for what your soul is like. Please accept your reward. We get a blue scale. 
And yeah, that allows us to fuse yet another new persona. Cool. I, I don't know how to fuse it or how to get to it, but that's okay. So hopefully figure it out. Uh, that's going to be it. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah. All right. So full. Oh, God. Let's try to run some of this off as we go do the actual thing we're supposed to do today. Yeah. All right. Run, run, run. Run back. Uh, Kenji? Kanji? What? Would be proud of us for doing all this running. Our swim boy. He would be proud of us for running. Kaz. Kaz. Wow. Kenji's the, the bad one. Oh, right. The one we don't like. The one we don't speak of. Right. <laughs> the one we haven't hung out with in a very long time. But either way, the thing we're actually going to do is hang out with Fuka. I like how we immediately go to just like hanging out with Fuka all the time. Oh yeah. It's like first day available, boom, hang out with Fuka. Yeah. I think it's because the the uh, teammate social links are really good mm -hmm. and they want to get you on them as quick as possible as soon as they are like you've maxed out those stats. Yeah, because I guess that's the thing is to do the teammate social links, you have to max out a stat yes. to do them. So like for Fuka, we needed courage. And I'm guessing the courage one is just the easiest to Level max up first. Yeah. first. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, are we heading home? Uh, yeah, let's spend some time, and I don't think we need a persona. In fact, we do not. Absolutely don't. Uh, and there's something I'd like you to try. Can we go to the rooftop? I'm cooking again. Okay. I ate, just ate so much food. Oh, God. I don't know if I can stuff anything else in my face. Especially your food. I need lunch. Would you mind trying some of it? I think it'll taste better than last time. At least it can't be any worse, right? This food looks better than the food she prepared last time. Okay, that's good. Oh, <gasps> cat! Meow. Oh, a kitty cat! Oh, he's so cute. He looks hungry, doesn't he? Here, kitty kitty. Maybe I should give him some food. What do you think, Hanukkah? Uh, sure. I guess we could feed him some of that. I was hoping you'd say that. <gasps> no! Yes, oh. yes. Huh? Oops. Well, I guess the cat did not uh, approve of the dish. Nope. Well, what happened? Wait, was it the food? Who could taste some of the food she prepared? <laughs> Oh, this tastes horrible. Oh, look at her face. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I must have left it out for too long. Oh, no. So sorry, Anakun. Please don't eat any of this. I don't want you to get sick. I don't want to get sick either. Fuka seems discouraged. Hey, but it looked better this time. Yeah, you're getting better. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Though I will say taste is more, more important, important than, than looks. Than, than presentation. Yeah. For the love of God, if something looks like a b brown goo mush but tastes exquisite, I don't care. Hey, try the gray stuff. It's delicious. I just want to help everyone, even outside of battle. And there aren't many chances to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. So I thought it would be nice to make lunch for everyone, but <sighs> I need to get better at cooking. Maybe with your help, Hanakun, I can. Yeah, Fuka. how about we like go grab some cookbooks or something? Yeah, I'd be willing to learn how to cook with you. Fuka seems I mean, to need we your know help. How to cook, but I, I mean, don't yes. think Hana knows. That's what I mean. Your really... relationship is growing stronger. And with that, we now have more priestess juice. Hmm. You know, that doesn't know. really work. Yeah, I don't know about that, hmm. fam. 
I like saying like juice, but like when it's connotated with like an actual gendered character, that seems a little yeah, weird. Yeah, not I, okay. Mm, uh, let's not mm, dive into that one. Yeah. Uh, priestess power. There you go. Puka thinks you're easy to talk to. She considers you a friend. Good. I like our friendship. It's kind of hard for me to say this after all that's happened, but I'd be happy if you'd be willing to taste, taste test my food again. Well, I'll see you later. I'm sure we won't have a choice. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, we go back to the dorm. Maybe we're back together this time, it looks like. Yeah. That's wonderful. Except, dude. Hi, Junpei. Remember how Mitsuru Senpai was saying the equipment in the command room is busted? Well, it's still on the fritz, so I checked it out, but I don't know, dude. I don't I don't want to just press buttons at random, you know? So it's all up to you, buddy. Okay, dude. Okay. Thanks. Well, it means we have another... Uh, do we... Is, is there more busted? What? Did we never look at that? Oh, we did. Okay. It's just broken again, so I guess we'll have to check that out <gasps> next time. Oh, my God. On... Hashtag bathroom content. Yeah, that's this game now. Yeah. See you guys then. Bye-bye.